All right, next let's see your right hand. Hmm, yes, not bad. But please remember that you still need to be careful, understand? <sighs> yes, I will. By the way, Master, I still haven't received the patrol route for today. Look, Kale, today's patrol will be a long one, so you won't be coming along this time. Besides, there's a chance we may encounter... Well, you understand. But I have a vision too! <sighs> Am I useless to everyone now? Don't talk like that, Kale. This is not something you need to be worrying about right now. Ah, there you are! Feeling any better? Yeah! Since we'll be staying here for now, we thought we might as well try lending a hand around here. <laughs> Seems you're not the type to sit back and take it easy for a while, huh? In that case, perhaps Kale could take you two for a patrol south of Gundarvaville for the day. And if you're feeling up to it, you can be responsible for cleaning the Statue of the Seven. Tenari, we're ready to head out. Roger, I'll be right there. All right, we'll be heading into the forest now. I'll leave any further details to Kale. Yes, you can count on me. So, Kale, what exactly are we going to be doing today? Tainari mentioned cleaning the statue just now, but, uh, that doesn't really sound like the job for a ranger. Well, a forest ranger's responsibilities can be pretty diverse. They handle a variety of tasks, like checking the condition of outlying roads, maintaining forest facilities, ensuring fire prevention standards are met, and providing assistance to travelers and locals. As for Master, well, he has to handle more dangerous areas of the rainforest. Today we can perform routine checks on the pathway lamps as we make our way to the Statue of the Seven. Hi, on, Traveler! This way! You can leave the task of checking the lamps to me. In the meantime, you two can keep an eye out for anything unusual. Oh, this lamp seems to be getting a little wobbly. Let me make a note of it. Hmm, no problems with this lamp. Good. The statue of the Seven is up on top of that large rock formation. You must have seen it when you came down this road before. It's pretty high up there, isn't it? Don't worry. If you're afraid you can't make it up there, I'm sure Master wouldn't mind if you don't clean the statue. Oh? I guess I'll leave it up to you then. There's not much footing once you reach the statue, so be careful up there. Paimon will fly up with you and help you with those hard-to-reach areas. Um, by the way, Kale, do you know anything about the Dendro Archon? You know, what's she like? Uh, that depends. Are you referring to Greater Lord Rukudavata or Lesser Lord Kusanali? Huh? Greater Lord Rukudavata? Oh, is that the name of the former Dendro Archon? Uh-huh. Greater Lord Rukudavata was Sumeru's first Dendro Archon. She created the rainforest as well as the Wall of Samiel around the desert. Her works provided a means of peaceful living for everyone. To the people of Sumeru, She's not only a symbol of wisdom, but also of power and kindness. Unfortunately, she disappeared in a great calamity that occurred a few hundred years ago. According to what Master has told me, the sages later found the newly born Dendro Archon and whisked her back to Sumeru. To celebrate the reinstatement of their lost deity, the sages dubbed her Lesser Lord Kusanali and let her reside in the sanctuary of Sarasthana. Uh-huh. Then what happened? Well, and then... Ah, uh, uh, I'm not too sure what happened, to be honest. Huh? You're not too sure? But 
Aren't you from Sumeru? Yeah, I'm from Sumeru. Uh, but... Maybe it's difficult to discuss this topic with strangers. If that's the case, then don't worry, we understand. No, no, it's not that. I'm not trying to hide something from you. Besides, I don't consider you two strangers. A anyway, y you two know Amber, right? Wait, Amber? You mean... Yes, that's her. I once lived in Mondstadt for a while, and she helped me a lot during that time. You could even say that she helped me become a new person. There's no one like Amber. She lives life to the fullest while always adhering to her strong sense of justice. She's ready to answer the call for action at any moment, but is also very understanding of others. She's like the spark that lights the fire in everyone's heart around her. If you ask me, she's a prime example of a true outrider. She's the first person anyone coming to Mondstadt will meet. You can't help but be enthralled by her charm and enthusiasm, causing you to fall in love with the lands of Mondstadt and... Ah, uh, <laughs> sorry. Ah, uh, Paimon thought the work of Outriders was a little different from what you just described, but to one thing's for sure, you really like Amber. Ah, uh, <laughs> sorry. I was rambling on just now. It must have sounded kind of weird. <laughs> it's all right, Kale. Knowing that you're a friend of Amber somehow makes Paimon suddenly feel a lot closer to you. So, how do you know that we've met Amber? Well, after I returned to Sumeru, Amber and I have stayed in touch by writing each other letters. In one letter, she mentioned that Mondstadt was attacked by a fearsome dragon, but the city was saved by a mysterious blonde traveler and their floating companion. I knew you two were the ones she mentioned in the letter the moment I saw you. But, uh, considering everything you've been through that day, I thought it'd be inappropriate to bring it up. Ah, so that's how you knew. Yep, so please know that you two have my complete trust, really. I wish I could tell you more about the Dendro Archon, but I have been away from Sumeru for some time, and I haven't read any books. Sorry. That's all right. You've already helped us a lot. We had never even heard of Greater Lord Ruka Devata or the Sanctuary of Surasthana until you mentioned them. Oh, I'm happy that was helpful. There is one thing I want to ask, though. Why do you two want to know about the Dendro Archon? Hmm. So that's why you're here. Thank you for telling me your story. Don't mention it. We are friends after all, right? <laughs> all right, we have a statue to clean. You both have my thanks. While you two are up there cleaning, I'll go ahead and inspect the forest canopy. Let's meet back here shortly. Propagate! with nature. Devata or Lesser Lord Kusanali? The name does seem to fit the statue somehow. Hmm. Well, anyway, we'll have to figure that out later. Let's get started on cleaning the statue. Paimon will fly up and take care of the top and you clean everything below. Nice work! That's one clean statue! Let's head down and 
meet up with Kale. Compliment the chef, Paimon. Since you liked it so much, I'll be sure to give you a copy of the recipe sometime. I'll even include all my personal cooking pointers, so you'll be making your own pita pockets in no time. Yay! Thanks, Kale! It's hard to believe someone as diligent as you could have clumsy moments, too. Oh! <laughs> uh, I guess it happens from time to time. So, uh, Kale. Don't you think that Tainari's a little too strict with you? He won't let you touch anything without his permission. Paimon knocks stuff over all the time flying around the Traveler, but he's never said anything. Everyone has their clumsy moments. No, no, you've got the wrong idea about Master. Uh, <laughs> sure, he may seem a bit harsh at first, but with some time, you'll see that he's actually very kind-hearted. I've heard the veteran rangers say that Master is from some ancient and mysterious race that is known for their cunning wit and reclusive nature. Oh, by the way, you've heard of the Academia, right? Well, there's a group called... Uh... Um... Um... Uh... Uh... Um... Boo... Something? <laughs> well, anyway, because Master does a lot of research on plants, Sages from the Academia have written him many times, inviting him to take up an official position there. But Master declines their offers every time, saying, Sumeru City is too noisy. It'd be bad for my ears. <laughs> Seems you already know him well. Anyway, I'm sure the Sages were not happy about his responses. Master could obviously have a bright future in the Academia, but he insists on sticking to the path of a Forest Watcher. Every day, he helps the locals of the forest and passes on his extensive knowledge to trainees like me. In fact, Master's the one who taught me how to make pita pockets. Really? Paima would have never guessed that. Oh, speaking of Tainari, he was the one who took care of you after finding you passed out yesterday. He even carried you all the way here. Paimon's still kind of upset, though. He kept scolding Paimon the entire way here. Oh no, I'm sorry. Master might have been overreacting a little. But, uh, it's mostly because Paimon wouldn't stop yelling, Why, oh why, is he going to die? It probably started to get under Master's skin after a while. Hey! Don't laugh! Paimon was genuinely concerned about you. <laughs> hey! No, even Kali's starting to laugh! Ugh, that's it! Paimon won't forget this! It's time for some Paimonial wrath! No! Don't touch me! Oh, sorry, Kali. Paimon didn't mean to scare you. Uh, no, I, I just... Uh, I... I 
didn't mean that. Kale, are you okay? What's the matter? Noah, I'm... <laughs> I'm fine. I'm sorry. I must have startled you both reacting like that. Oh, well, it's getting late now. Uh, let's hurry back to Gundarverville. I think Master and the others should be back by now, too. Huh? What was up with Kali just now? And why is she in such a hurry all of a sudden? Look, she's practically running back. Paimon can't even see her now. The rainforest climate is far more pleasant than that of the desert. Ah, Traveler, you've returned. Yep, we're back! Uh, have you seen Kale by any chance? Oh, Kale? Yes, I saw her go into her room just a moment ago. Oh, okay. Guess we'll just have to wait and talk to her tomorrow then. Yeah. 